You are working on animal portraits inspired by African animals. Here are two lion portraits. The one on the left is a photograph. The one on the right is a painting. Remember, when you look at something to draw, look for the kinds of lines and shapes you see to help you draw. Today, you will draw a lion portrait. You will need paper, crayons, markers, or watercolors, brushes, water, container. You will look at the picture of a lion's face. Look for the kinds of lines and shapes you see. Draw the portrait of the lion with a crayon. I used a black crayon. Make sure you watch the video. Color the eyes and nose with a marker. Draw a texture with the marker. I used cool colors. Draw the hair in the mane with the marker. The hair comes out of the lion's head. I used warm colors. Paint with the mark or paint with marker. Brush water over your marker lines. Send a photo of your lion portrait by November 6th. Keep your lion portrait. In the next lesson, you will make a frame for the portrait. Make sure that you send your picture to Mrs. Hughes. In first grade, we've been working on how to draw a portrait. And we're using African animals to help us out. So here's a portrait of a lion that was done by an artist. And we're gonna use this portrait to help us draw our lion portrait. And when I draw a portrait, I like to start with a detail like the nose. Remember to look for the kinds of lines and shapes you see in whatever you're drawing. So I'm gonna start with the nose. I like to sketch Then I'll go to the mouth. And do the chin. Then I'll go back to this part and curve up. part of the nose. Draw up and do the sides of the nose next to where the eyes will be. And draw circles for the eyes. Forget the pupils. We can add the lines that go around the eyes. And then for the side of the head, I like to put the center line in. up to where the top of the head would be. Go to the top of the line, come out, curl around the eye. Back into the side of the snout there. <clears throat> And you have your basic line base. You can add the details like the little dots, some whiskers. And then for the lion's mane, the hair comes out from the head. And then, 
make a colorful lion like this artist did. <clears throat> Maybe use some cool colors. Kind of trace around the head. Start putting some texture lines, those fur lines. Remember, texture is the way something feels when you touch it. a little more cool colors, maybe some blue and green in there. Use some warm colors for the mane. You can check it out on the video, <clears throat> or I mean check it out on the picture in the PowerPoint. <clears throat> And then once you're all drawn with the markers, you can take a brush, dip it in water, and brush over and actually paint with the markers. So I hope you have fun creating your lion portrait.